All right, everybody. Tom Cormier here from Dropship University, the group and the course, where I try to teach you guys as much as I know about eBay dropshipping and get you on the level that I am selling well over six figures a month and making a lot of money doing it. So I have looked through a lot of my videos and I realized that the number one videos that I have right now are all about Zik Analytics. So I wanna ask you guys, um, do you wanna see more videos about Zik Analytics? And do you wanna see more videos related to item sourcing in general or anything like that? So if you have any uh, strong opinions on it, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear back from you. And it helps me you know, choose the scope of the videos that I plan to do for my channel in general. So, I mean, I'm here to help you guys. So the more people that I get pointing me in one direction is, is where I'll go. So I did want to go over a little bit more on Zik Analytics. This is um, something that I haven't always done, but I do see the, the merit in doing it now and just, you know, really trying to build the best possible, you know, like seller's list possible. I, I've never really dealt with it before in the past and I didn't really tell people to, to really go out and do it, but I have started to do it for um, a few reasons, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it is and basically how to go about doing it. So if you um, haven't seen any of my previous videos on Zik Analytics in general, my number one video on my YouTube channel is about how to source hot selling items from Zik Analytics, and I'll post that in a tag above, it'll come across. So if you haven't seen that video yet, or if you don't even know what I'm doing, um, I would check that video first. That is how you go about finding just the best possible items to list on your store, that hot selling items, they're gonna sell on your store as long as they're appropriately priced. And you know, it, it's, this Zik Analytics is the program I've been using since I first started just about a year ago. So I highly suggest Zik Analytics, and if you guys are interested in Zik Analytics by the end of this video or anything, um, I do have a promo code where if you say, if you sign up through my affiliate link and you mention Ecom Tom to Zik Analytics, um, I'll move myself right here to their um, help chat, you will get $5 off your first month. It's also a seven day free trial and I don't even know if you have to connect your PayPal to it. So it should just be a seven day free trial right off the bat. So without further ado, I'll get into what is a watch list and why you should create one. So a watch list is basically also known as a my competitors list on Zik Analytics. And it's literally just a way to keep track of sellers that you deem are good over time and you know, just a way to track their items. See, you can possibly see their trends, what they're selling, what they've moved to, how they are doing. Say they were selling 100,000 in sales and now their store's dead. I mean, things like that. And you can also just continually poach items off of them. So um, if you don't know how to find sellers or anything about good sellers or how to find items, I would suggest watching that video that I said I would tag above. And so I'm fully expecting that you know how to find people and use the competitor research tool in this video. So. I used a competitor research tool for about literally 32 seconds before I started this video and I found this person. I was gonna use Shopsy, but I've already used Shopsy before in the past and this person doesn't seem like they're gonna lose too much uh, of, off their, you know, too, they're not gonna lose their shirt based off this video. So they're doing $242,000 in sales a month and their name is up here. I'm not gonna say it, I mean, you can find it if you want. But the number one thing that you wanna do here is do the add to watch list. I'm not gonna go over the bulk scanner in this video. I am gonna make a bulk scanner video, but you're just gonna to wanna to add them to your watch list. So the cool thing about adding them to your watch list is basically you can add a comment about them to say like, hi, just high volume seller, lots of good items or something like that. Um, I mean, you're gonna wanna look at their items first, but I've already looked and made sure that, you know, they're selling a lot, they're selling a ton of shit. So, might as well just already write it. You can give them a ranking. I'd probably give them a five in all honesty because they're doing so so well. And then I would just click save. From there, they went to your watch list. Let's just go through this person's store a little bit. Um, you know, they have item, their the number one items. Uh, I, I mean, I've sold this item before. I know that I've sold this item before. 76 times in the last 30 days, 45 times in the last 30 days. And if you've seen the other video, I suggest that as long as it's sold over 10 times in the last 30 days, when you're first starting out, then um, you are good. Also, make sure to not list these Vero items. And the only way to get that is um, by having the Zik Booster application up here, which I also made a video about, which if I can tag multiple videos in a video, I'll do it. And I'm gonna tag it up here. I'm gonna learn how to do these face these YouTube video tags. So um, that's about it for this video. I mean, you're, you're gonna wanna go through, you're gonna wanna find um, just, I, just someone that's good or someone that you think you could steal items off of and you're gonna wanna always just periodically come in and check. Um, 
So what are you going to do or what is the watch list? So the watch list is right here. If I refresh my page, um, this is the watch list. I've only had my virtual assistants putting it together for a little bit, but we've also been doing them on Google Sheets and stuff for a while with Walmart sellers and stuff like that. So I have them just saying decent amount or some good items, ranking them with a star system and stuff like that. But why do I think it's become more important recently than in the past? And it's because of the fact that I have started using Sale Freaks, and if you've seen some of my videos on it, um, I'm getting pretty involved with Sale Freaks, and they do have a function called the Sales Hunter function, where if you have um, a certain amount of like, what based off of your items that you're, like the subscription that you have to Sale Freaks is how many just sellers that you can monitor with the Sales Hunter function, and I can put in all these people's names, and the Sales Hunter will monitor their stores, and as their items sell, it will automatically list it to my store. So I never really had a big reason as to why to make a seller's list besides maybe for Walmart where, you know, it's like, it's, you know, there's scarcer amounts of sellers on there so we could track them and, you know, see their good items and Walmart items make good profit. So if you find one or two good ones, you know, then you're going to, you know, that's, that person's going to be good to keep track of. But for Amazon sellers, I never really did it until now where I feel that it is very important to get a good seller's list. So I've just been having my virtual assistants over the last couple of days. I'm going to move myself up here. And I mean, I have five total people. So since it's been 10 days that I've been having them do this or since the 22nd, it seems since I've been having them do this. So it's been eight days and they've got me, you know, I think close to oh, 48 people so far. So if I get up to a hundred people, I get up to a hundred people. But I mean, I want this sales hunter function to be working on my account and I want it to be auto listing um, just items for me whenever, just, just autonomously. So that's the main reason why I think that it's going to be more helpful in the future. Um, it also helps if, I mean, if you're a smaller seller and you just want to just look at some of the people that you're sniping or if you find some really good stores, just add them to your watch list. So that's the reason why I think the watch list is important. If you want to see some of my other videos, I mean, check out my videos here. I'm doing promotional videos for sale freaks um, right now. So I, I, there's a lot of things out there that I've been doing. I've been trying to get my face out there every single which way possible. I just did a video I'll probably put in the description a, a YouTube live with Mark from DS Genie, which was so much fun. It was hilarious. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. I'll put that in the description. And um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if this video is something that you want me to continue to keep doing. Um, if you are interested in Zik, I do have the $5 off promo code. So if you want to sign up with that, um, that would be much appreciated. And it'll help your, out your, um, your pocket and your bottom line a little bit as well. So I hope you guys like this video. Please leave comments, like, subscribe, and just let me know what videos you want to see in the future because I'm right now at the point where I, I can make videos in any way possible. I can make you videos on Zik Analytics. I can make you like just mindset videos. I, I, I like to get into the mindset and stuff a bit. I could make you videos just telling you what not to do, um, mistakes that I've done, you know, just, just things like I want to make a video on not asking stupid questions, but I, if you guys don't want to see a video like that, I understand. But just uh, just leave a comment below on what type of videos you guys would like to see in the future, and I will be as receptive as possible to them. So thank you guys for stopping by my channel and checking this video out, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.